Not your average tabletop. Woohoo! Welcome to Not Your Average Tabletop. I'm Zach. And I'm Pepper. And today we're giving our first impressions of Queen by Midnight. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I just put it up on the screen. There, there you go. Uh, but yeah, this is one that we've played at, I believe it was the maximum player count. I thought you were going to say at midnight. It did finish at it about did. midnight. Yes. Um, but I think it was at six. Yep. Which I think is a. Yep. Um, so, yeah, this is a game that's kind of a deck building game. Uh, with some combat style to it, mm, yep. I would say it's kind of uh, makes me think of like a Hero Realms or a Shards oh, of Infinity, yep, yep. Uh, where you're trying to kind of eliminate other players, but then it's got a few more uh, twists and turns that kind of make it feel like a bigger game than those. Like those mm, ones yep. kind of feel more like closer to like an unmatched type thing mm. um, or something like that. Whereas this one feels a little bit more like there's a few more things to think about yep, than just yep. that. Um, so yeah, so we played this one. I think it's from the uh, group that did Critical Role or their board game company. I think it's it's at least their second or third game. Um, I it's my brother and sister in law's game, so I, I don't keep track as much of the Critical Role stuff. So I don't know as much about that, but I, I know they did recently come out with that, um, and that was one of their games. And yeah, so. I would say going into it, I didn't have like a huge attachment to it one way or another. Um, going into it, so I wasn't wasn't excited, but wasn't like unexcited to try it. Mm -hmm. um, I guess how were you feeling? Yeah, I had no clue of anything about the game, yeah. um, so I really only had to go by what was in the box and what was on the box as well. I thought the cover of the box uh, oh, yep. was really nice. Really enjoyed yep. that artwork, um, and I think that the art throughout the game as well was. Very nice as well, and the components were pretty cool with the giant kind of tower, the clock, clock tower, that that actually works. Is the dice tower as well, and mm -hmm. the clock, the hands do rotate, and um, I think the dice were pretty nice. And the, yeah, it actually turns towards the player, yeah. and so, which I, I did find pretty cool, so yeah. I was pretty excited about that. So, I mean, that's all kind of gimmicks and presentation mm -hmm. that had me interested, but I mean, that's kind of all I had to go on, so I was... That's true. Like, middle, kind of like, hey, hopefully this is cool. Yeah, I 100% agree. Uh, but then I found out there was a player elimination aspect to the game, which is not typically our style of game. I mean, yeah, obviously you got that in Charge of Infinity and Hero Realms and all that stuff. But then, to me, I typically would just as well just play those at, like, two players. Mm, yeah. Almost, almost all the time. Yeah. Could maybe play with more, but then there's just that aspect of... And those ones... Maybe it would end a little bit. Uh, I wasn't sure how long this game was going to be, mm, and that yeah. that kind of comes into play if you do have that sort of thing. Yeah, especially um, if it is a higher player count. Right. Yeah. Because um, yeah, if you have something where someone's out of the game and the game goes on for another hour plus, that mm, could yeah. be not as fun, obviously. Yeah. Um, but that may just be the way the game is made. Yeah, um, this, this does introduce kind of a merge role, like an awk, so <laughs> that's true. if you are eliminated um, partway through the game, which for us at our player count, it kind of adjusts the amount of rounds. For us, oh, it was yep. pretty early that we voted and chose, uh, most of us randomly, who we would back and join if we yep. were eliminated. So if you are eliminated and you're the first one to be eliminated, that is back that person, because if you're second in line, you're just completely out, um, right. then you get to kind of give your special ability, a special ability to that person that you'll activate on your turn. <laughs> so, I mean, you are kind of still in the game, possibly, right. um, but we didn't end up having anyone in that state for, like, an extended period of time. It was all kind of right as things were wrapping up that that happened. Yeah. Um, it... So, yeah, it's it's cool, um, and but I don't feel like if it was for a longer chunk of the game, like a third or half of the game that you were like that, that you would be having that much fun, or that right. much involvement at least. Right, because yeah, you have that action that you're doing, and I actually, I think I was the only one that did get fully eliminated, so I backed mm -hmm. someone that had previously been uh -huh. back. Yep. Um, well, it was random, yep. uh, but I did, and then, so when I lost, I was just out of the game completely, yep. which is kind of... Not that fun. Once you know someone's back to the other person, and then you know, like, 
well, th- now I'm my only yeah. chance. Yeah. Um, I think maybe it kind of takes that little fun aspect away from it. Of yeah. Having that, but at the same time, we did a lot of us did do it randomly, yeah. whereas it says you're supposed to like talk and to each other and, and negotiate. I, I don't know. I don't know quite how that would work but this was the first of I it mean, we've only played it once it was the first time we played it and yeah with that max player count it was like the second or third round so we really had no idea what was going on yet yeah. um, and who we should back what should really so that's why i felt like it, we could just do it randomly because we had yeah. really no idea what yeah. we were supposed to be offering because being a deck builder game you were getting cards and stuff um, and there's kind of two different ways you can buy these cards but at that point in the game, even, it didn't feel like, oh, that person has something really good going. I yeah. want to back them or, you know, something like that. But maybe you're supposed to, I, I don't know. I'm trying to think, even if I did now knowing kind of how the game played out and stuff, I still don't know what I would exactly do in that situation because I don't know if I'd just make it so, well, i got to make sure that I'm picking someone that someone else isn't picking. And then at that yeah. point, it's kind of not as interesting. Yeah, I, I don't know, because I'm like, at a lower player count, it would be less interesting, because there's just less op- options, but then at a higher player count, it feels like you have so little information, and mm-hmm. there's so much that could possibly happen that I right. don't know exactly, and we don't play these types of games very yeah, often, that's true. or any negotiation type of stuff like that, we don't yep. really touch much, so yeah, just not used to that, and not sure exactly the best way to handle it. Right, and in this game, I, I could see it playing out differently too. Because in this game, we, it really seemed like people were focusing on getting, kind of the, money and keeping their health high. Oh, people yep. weren't really attacking other people because um, you can play. There's kind of like trap cards if you've ever played oh, yep. Yu-Gi-Oh or something. I haven't actually played Yu-Gi-Oh, but <laughs> I, at, from the TV show, <laughs> I know there's like trap cards, um, and there's kind of that thing where. Uh, if you try to attack someone, they might be able to just block your attack. Yeah. So then it got to the point where everyone kind of, outside of maybe two or three of us, yeah. had something. Yeah. So then those people just weren't getting attacked. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because it definitely did have a feel of once someone once there's blood in the water of someone, everyone you could attacking. just you could just yeah, bam 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 all with... choose to attack that same yeah. person. Because you know they don't have any defense. Yeah, yeah, so I feel like... But no one really did that, I feel like. No one no, really tried usually, to go to the throat for the throat. Yeah, it's usually just maybe one or two um, kind of in a row that would then hit someone, which could be massive hits. Right. Uh, which I think mostly the three guys are just kind of attacking each other <laughs> um, kind of thing. Um, but I know Carson had just a ton of defense cards. Mm-hmm. She had like three or four cards just face down so it's like what are we just all going to attack her and then maybe the last person gets to actually deal damage to her right uh, which we don't know what is under there because at the end i had like two defense two three defense cards they were all defending against certain types of attacks and you got through an attack that was not that type of attack so the door was possibly open to deal damage but you just don't feel like you can really do anything with that turn if you do attack them Right. Yep. And yeah, and that's where it's another thing. And then I guess if if everyone was kind of doing that and going after, I guess maybe the game would go a little bit faster if people were doing that and just taking out a player when they had the opportunity. Mm -hmm. Um, But then at the same time, if the first two players you took out either backed the same person or backed, because actually not, yeah, it's been a little bit since we played it. I did not actually back the person that someone else, I backed a person that had gotten eliminated. Yeah. Like, just before. Um, so if that happened, and it happened early on, and then the game kind of went on, it could be a long time. Because, mm, yeah. Um, yeah, in that exact case, me and hit, me and Zach were kind of the only two, and then you started getting yeah. attacked too, but we were kind of the first two that were getting attacked a lot. So if he died first, I, w- I could have been, I mean, if people would have really went at us, I could have probably been out of the game for like an hour and a half. Oh, yeah. I yeah. feel like, and been doing nothing. Yeah. So... Yeah. But all that negativity. <laughs> I, that's just kind were, of the genre you don't like. That's true. Um, so I think you got to know that going in. If you do like negotiation games, if you like player elimination where you're attacking people and maybe making alliances, I guess you could 
do that um, and have... Uh, there's probably... I think there's more depth to maybe some of that stuff because then you do get a special power if you are backing someone, so you're kind of helping them with that every and time. It's like it you're backing your them, turn. but you don't want them to know you're backing them because then they're going to try to kill you to get that bonus. Yeah, but then at the same time, other players might not kill them. Yeah. You could say, well, I'm backing her, so if you kill me... That's then true. Then I'm going to yeah. be helping them, so... Yeah. That wasn't actually used in our game, but yeah. technically I guess you could. So maybe if we you know, played it more, maybe you could have some of that kind of yeah. extra yeah. pieces where I don't know that you're going to... Unless you play these types of games all the time, I don't think you're going to know that the first game. Yeah. Kind of exactly what the best thing is to do. Um, but I, I think the deck building was interesting. It was, it was a lot of the same kind of yeah. stuff. But then I, the part that I did like a little bit more was the fact that um so there's the middle place kind of like a typical deck builder where you can buy cards from that um and they're out there uh, but then you kind of have your own like i think it, they were all specialized yeah. i guess i didn't actually look at the cards i think they were all a little bit different or yeah. were they the same yeah, cards they were specialized um so you kind of had a row of three of your own cards but then kind of a deck as well that you could buy from instead so, so they might do market. some yeah, yeah some interesting things with those um which i did like that i don't know if i've ever seen where you kind of have your own market and then yeah. a public market as well in a deck builder so that was pretty cool um yeah but then i guess too with the buying of the cards there's like three symbols yeah. that are used in the game like and you can only symbols, use two yeah. types of cards yes two of the three symbols I don't know that I love that. Which, I, I actually like that just because it it does simplify um, kind of what you can go for. It is, you could wipe out the market and refresh it, no. possibly with an action, but um, I forget what exactly that cost, but I don't know. I just thought that was kind of cool. It just keeps everyone to their own little thing, less competition for the cards that you might want out there. Um, but then mm -hmm. also, I guess, it does limit you to what you can take. Right. Um, but yeah, I just I really do also like kind of the stats of those, and it'll see say attack with your um, I forget one of the classes your red um, power your red mm -hmm. trait power the major power so you have a major and a minor it'll be like a seven and a four and you can kind of boost those um, over the game I definitely oh, got mine to be fair I think you were the main one yes, that I actually did, I did get it boosted, had some adjusted uh, quite a bit I think by like four mm -hmm. um, each one so then when I'm attacking it's like oh my minor is even like a seven or an eight or yeah. maybe a possibly 12 hits I feel like that was all very rewarding even base it could be like seven mm -hmm. damage that you could hit someone with which I feel I thought that that felt epic or rewarding that did um, even if you don't like if you do like the attacking aspect, I mm -hmm. think it's satisfying. Mm -hmm. and I really love deck building and it doesn't do anything that's bad with it. Yeah, yeah, that, that is true. Uh, yeah, I just didn't even think about that because I didn't really ever have mine effect outside of like a negative effect mm, yeah. that <laughs> downgraded mine. Mm, yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I had any cards that helped me in that, but I don't know, remember. Maybe I, I, I'm sure I had the opportunity to get some yeah. or something. Um, I'm trying to remember if anyone else had some... Did Michaela have hers adjusted a little bit, maybe? a little bit, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that that is a cool thing that, yeah, it relies on those specific stats. I do like that as well. Um, so, yeah, if you are going to have just kind of the two out of the three, um, that is interesting that you can interact with those and make them yeah. more powerful. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I'm trying to think if this had... It might have been a little longer than I probably liked. Um, yeah. It was the max player count, and we weren't being aggressive, so it ended by the just clock running out, right. hitting midnight. Right. So it was probably, yeah, the longest set it could be, yes. I would guess. Uh, but, yeah, because how long was it, three or four hours? Probably. So if you're not heavy into attacking, it could be a long. It could be on the longer side if you're not a group that typically does that. Um, so if you're fine with that, that's good. Otherwise, I think if you did attack, it would shorten it. Yeah. pretty significantly um so yeah it'd be interesting it'll be interesting to see how when we play it again how much it'll feel different yeah, Cause yeah. i think people might be more likely to go for it i think in the first game it's just kind of tough because like i said that's yeah. not the type of games we typically play yeah. um so it just to us kind of I, feels weird to eliminate I, players yeah I, and i still had it in my head that that's how these games end 
So then it got near the end, and I'm like, oh, wait, I should probably be trying to get points. I'm very right. low on health and very <laughs> low on money. So now right. I've got nothing going for me. <laughs> right. Um, but yeah, it is, it is a little twist. I, I do wonder, I think that does probably just come up to player count, or not player count, come to player group, and mm -hmm. whether or not it ends more with the clock running out or um, everyone dying but one. Right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but otherwise, I, I think as a first first impression, this one for me is probably coming in at around maybe a six ish. Mm -hmm. uh, it's probably not my favorite, but it's it's also with that type of style of game, not not really one that I look for at that player count. Um, but it does do some cool things that um, keep it as one that I would I would yeah. play again if someone else wanted to. Yeah, yeah, I mean, like I said, it's not exactly our type of game, but then I'm like, but apart from that, if you accept that, I don't think it does anything wrong or anything badly. Mm -hmm. I really like the deck building and the unique character powers and the unique cards that you can get from that market that some of those seem really, really powerful. Oh, yep. Um, especially later in the game, some of the cards. Mm -hmm. um, so I probably... I'm like an eight kind of comes to my head, but I'm like I don't know if it's like, like you said, it's not a game that we're gonna be like, oh, let's play this game. Yeah. But, Whereas like I, I just think like Clank or Dominion yeah. or something like that, I would want to play, probably. Yeah. If I was playing <laughs> ten deck builder, I'd play that nine times to this yeah. once yeah. maybe. Uh, I'll go. Just maybe. because it's it's not a typical deck builder where those ones just kind of feel like yeah quick snappy turns, everything's kind yeah. of flowing. This one. Definitely felt more grindy, but it could just be the fact that it was our first play. Yeah, yeah, it probably does apply to that a little bit, but I'll probably give it a 7.5. I think it, it does it well, and if you enjoy these types of games, I think this one is a really good one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the components are uh, top-notch, for sure. I think everything fits back in the box. I'm trying to think, like, the insert and stuff. I feel like there were it... possibly a couple things that were like, uh, where does Not this good. go? I guess no. just there. Um, nothing, nothing big, just, like, maybe some different sized cards and you're like where does that exactly mm -hmm. supposed to go mm -hmm. i feel like this is the one it could have been a different game i don't know <laughs> but yeah. yeah uh so that's our initial thoughts mm -hmm. on queen by midnight we'll have to see uh when we play more i think we've got an unboxing of this as mm -hmm. well so you can take a look at that uh, but otherwise we hope to see you on the next one and as always don't forget to keep on nibbling on our content